In this video, we are going to show you how to precipitate, digest, and filter a salt sample to complete the gravimetric analysis of unknown G. Unknown G is an impure sample of sodium chloride. Your task is to determine the percentage chloride in your sample. To accomplish this task, you will be reacting the sodium chloride with silver nitrate, then separating the resulting silver chloride solid by filtration. Careful measurement of the mass of the product will be used to calculate the original mass of chloride in your sample. This is a glass crucible. After rinsing the crucible with DI water, wipe the clear glass sides, avoiding contact with the frit so as not to clog it with lint. Wipe only the clear glass parts of the crucible. The frit is cleaned chemically with strong acid, followed by a basic wash to dissolve salts that have clogged it. To assemble the vacuum filtration apparatus, connect the long hose on the vacuum filtration flask to the house vacuum nozzle. Place the crucible on the filtration flask and turn the house vac on. After all solution has been pulled through the filter, you'll need to disconnect. The proper order of disconnecting your vacuum filter is to turn the vacuum off at the source, then break the quick connect. This way the filtrate does not spit up into your precipitate later on. When you're done filtering all four crucibles, don't forget to pull the hose off of the house back nozzle. The proper way to dump liquids out of a filtration flask is to point the side nozzle upward, pouring the liquid out of the opposite side. Always close the waste lid after each use. Please keep an eye on filtrate levels in your trap and filtration flask so that the liquid doesn't go into our house vac. You may dump the liquid from the filtration flask into the trap flask. Then you can take that flask and dump it into the waste bin. Always close waste receptacles when you're done using them. In this experiment, constant mass is defined as 0.3 milligrams for two consecutive readings. Remember that temperature will affect the mass measurement, so be sure to cool your sample completely. This is an analytical balance. Always make sure that the mass readout goes to four decimal places. I'll give you a moment to figure out what our chemist is doing wrong here. Have you figured it out yet? Of course, you must use the same balance for the same samples every time. Remember our last mass? Well, here's what it is after drying. How is that possible? Warm samples create convection currents in the balance. Resulting mass measurements are unreliable. Weigh four samples of unknown G into your large beakers, weighing by difference. Dissolve each of your weighed unknown G samples with 100 milliliters of deionized water using a separate stirring rod for each sample. Time to get your gloves on because you're about to precipitate with silver nitrate, which can stain the skin. Slowly pour a stoichiometric volume of silver nitrate into your solution. It will precipitate. Prepare all precipitation trials in this fashion. Throw your gloves away in the proper waste receptacle. Never throw gloves in the regular trash. You are now ready to digest the samples. Heat on a Bunsen burner until near boiling. Move the samples to a warm hot plate. At first, they'll be white, and then they'll turn purple. Next, test your solution for free chloride ions by dropping in a few drops of silver nitrate. If you see a cloud like this, you'll need to digest more. Decant only the liquid into the crucible which is set up on your filtration apparatus. The shown technique is preferable because it will allow you to transfer only the liquid and none of the solid. When the solid is retained, it is better rinsed later. Use your rubber policeman and acid wash to get the last traces of precipitate into your crucible. Wash the precipitate with acidic water and proceed with drying to bring to constant mass. 